now in this video i will be explaining uh, the one implies four part of theorem 18.1 okay so here one implies four in uh, there are some other videos also uh, where i have explained one implies two two implies three and three implies one also okay so in this video i will be explaining one implies four because in this theorem we have to say that three is um, uh, that is point number one point number two there are some conditions like one two three these conditions are equal and that is what we have to prove right so there are some other videos you can if you want you can watch it on by vis go and visit to my playlist and there you can see topology so within there you can see a lot of videos okay okay so here i will be explaining one implies four can you see that yes so what is one the first condition is f is continuous okay you are assuming that and you are going to prove the fourth condition that is f of u contained in v is that clear so here uh, one thing you have to be very clear about okay so here f is continuous is our assumption in our question they are given you uh, the function is from x to y okay and what you have to know is there is a point x in this topological space x and the, here is a point that is f of x in this topological space there is a point f of x right that is the image of this will present here that will be in this format you know that okay even if you don't know okay uh, from this you will get to know that okay so here is a point if you have a point x in this topological space x then here will be uh, this is the image of this x and that will be in this format f of x that is f of x is the point of this topological space y that's what the meaning okay so here uh, yeah, if you take a neighborhood of this point f of x, the neighborhood of this point is denoted as B, capital B, okay. And the okay, the neighborhood of this point is V, and the neighborhood of this point will be f inverse of v is that clear that's it's inverse okay okay this is the basic thing that you have to know so here in the first line to prove this here you have a first line that x belongs to s you are taking a point x from the capital x uh, here you can see everything that you have explained just before okay okay so if you are uh, clear in this then you feel very easy in the further steps so let x belongs to capital x as i told you earlier and v is a neighborhood of f of x you are taking like that then by the hypothesis what will happen he, because the assumption in the assumption we have f is continuous right so we know that if f is continuous the inverse image of every open set is open so here you have v is a neighborhood it means it is an open set so its image is f inverse of v right it's also open in capital x containing the point small x that is what the definition so here let x belongs to capital x and v is a neighborhood of f of x then by our assumption you can write like this f inverse of v is a neighborhood of x okay neighborhood and open set both are same every open set every neighborhood is an open set there is a statement like that so using that you can say like this so let u equal to f inverse of v you are taking like this u is equal to f inverse of v it means you are taking this neighborhood f n denoting this f inverse of v uh, by u okay that is what you are writing here let u is equal to f inverse of v so taking f on both sides so you get this and this contained in you from this you can write this contained in v f f inverse gets cancelled then there will be v only so you can write it contained in v in many places you will write like in this format 
so f of u is equal to f in f of f inverse of v contained in v so from this uh, from this okay you can write combining this two f of u contained in v so you have proved what you want to prove okay thus one implies four part comes to an end